Well, hello the new. It's only me, Leonard Wells, broadcasting as usual from Studio B here in the Giggle Mill in Haslingdon, north of Manchester in the UK. Studio B means that the resident engineer is, as always, Adolf Appelstrudel, that very sweet chap from Bechtus Garden in Bavaria. Unfortunately, he's also a strict disciplinarian and refuses me any more than 12 digital megaburgers per broadcast, which means, as you probably already know, that I have to deny you that all-time thrill of seeing and hearing my world-famous rendition of Ness and Dorma. My tale today is about one of those things that doesn't happen very often in people's lives, and that's to be visited by an angel and granted a wish. In this particular story, Rabbi Bloom had a Bible study group at his uh, synagogue, and on this particular afternoon, all of a sudden, this angel appears in front of everybody, and the angel says to the rabbi, Rabbi Bloom, you are an example to all your fellow men. You are totally unselfish and faultless. Your knowledge of the Bible is extensive. You give to charity more than enough. So, it has been decided on high that you will have a choice of three rewards. You can either have infinite wealth, infinite health, or infinite wisdom. Which would you like, Rabbi? Rabbi Bloom replies, I would love to have infinite wisdom. Good fortune to you, Rabbi Bloom, says the angel. It is done. Enjoy it. In the way the angel disappears. So, in the study group, there was absolutely stunned silence for maybe 30 seconds. Nobody could believe what they'd just seen. Eventually, one of the boys at the back broke the silence. Rabbi Bloom, he says, why don't you test out your newfound wisdom right away? Say something wise to us all, please. Rabbi Bloom replies, Oy vey, I should have taken the money. Thank you and good night, folks. <laughs>